Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited to bring you a collaboration between myself and Yota Style. We are going to be talking about the Prada Re-Edition 2000 mini bag today. Also, I would like to wish a Happy New Year to those who are welcoming in the Year of the Tiger this week. So first of all, I want to thank Yoda so much for inviting me to do this collaboration. We've been talking about it together for a few weeks, and this was her idea, and I was more than happy to agree to do it with her. We both have this black bag, and she also has the bag in the Crystal Re-Edition as well. So... When you're done watching this video, please head over to her channel. I will link her video down below and you can check out both of her Prada Re-Edition bags. Definitely subscribe to her, check out her channel, check out her beautiful collection. She has an amazing collection. She is an artist, she's a painter, she's a very generous friend, she's really funny, she has awesome content, and I have loved watching her for the last year or so. So definitely go check out Yota. So let's get into it. This is the Prada Re-Nylon Re-Edition 2000 mini bag. As you can see, it is black nylon. It is a classic shape based on the original pouch, which Prada came out with in the late 90s, early 2000s. This bag was absolutely huge back then. I remember it, even though I didn't have one, but I definitely remember seeing, seeing them everywhere, um, along with the Kate Spade version, which was also everywhere. Nylon was huge back then. What I didn't realize at the time is that it was actually a luxury interpretation of nylon. Mucha Prada, who came up with this in the mid 80s when she designed the backpack, she was sourcing very, very special, very difficult to work with nylon, which she said was um, more expensive in many ways than creating leather bags because it was so hard to get it to be this tightly woven, the special sheen, the special surface, and just the way that it came together. This particular bag is similar in size to the pochette accessoire from Louis Vuitton. However, I find the capacity is a little more and I do like the shape a lot better. It is nine inches across or 22 centimeters. It is four and three quarter inches uh, tall and two and a quarter inches in depth. In centimeters, it is 17 by six centimeters in depth. So it is definitely a mini bag. Sometimes uh, it seems larger than it is on camera. When I used to watch videos about this bag, trying to figure out if I wanted it, people would bring it really close to the camera. And I think that made me think it was gonna be bigger than it was. When I actually received it, I was like, wow, this bag is really cute and little. <laughs> but um, I, was, I was mostly aware of that because I had looked at the dimensions. And it actually holds a little more than you might think. While it is still a mini bag, don't expect to hold everything. It does hold the essentials. And so I will show you what I fit inside here. This bag has a zipper closure with a plastic zipper and a leather Saffiano pull tab. The uh, 2005 re-edition version of this bag is slightly different in that it does have metal rings on either side of the handle and it has a metal zipper hardware. It's also uh, $45 more expensive. The price in the US for this bag right here is $950 and the re-edition 2005 is $995. They recently did have a price increase a few months ago, unfortunately. So that is the current price in the US. So in this bag, when I do carry it, I start with my keys, which easily go right in there. I then add my reading glasses to the bottom. 
my Zippy Coin Purse wallet, which is a nice compact wallet. Of course, my phone. And at this point, it is getting a little bit full. However, I can still add one more thing. I'm going to put in my Chanel O case in the back here. It should fit right there. And it does easily. So now it's pretty much full. I wouldn't try to stick anything else in here because then I would have a hard time getting things in and out. So I would say this is the capacity for this mini bag. It's so great. It's really lightweight. It's heavy now. That I wouldn't say like heavy, heavy um, now that it's full, but when it's empty, it seems to weigh nothing. It is adorable. I'm so glad I got this bag. Now, it does come in a wide range of colors in the, in the nylon, uh, pale pink, uh, light beige, baby blue, and probably some others. I'm not really sure. I'm just listing off the top of my head what I remember seeing. But um, they come in and out of stock so frequently, it's really hard to know what they actually have. I was really lucky to get the black one. I, I, bought, it, um, I bought it from Bergdorf Goodman, um, their website, back in December when they had one left. And they also were doing 10% cash back on Rakuten. So I snagged it. And so it really brought the price down a bunch for me, which was really nice. So see if you can do that. If you can go to a department store when they're doing like a gift card event or a cash back event or something like that. And um, oftentimes Prada is not excluded from those deals. So now I would love to show you how I can dress up this bag with a bag charm or a scarf. This mini bag does come with a little crochet or a little, little bell pouch. Um, like a little, almost like a little charm hanging off of it in Saffiano leather with a key ring. It says Prada Edition 2000 on it. And I find that this is a nice accent for this bag. It definitely makes a huge difference to me having it there. And I do leave it there. But uh, if you wanted to change it for something else, uh, that's definitely an option. So let's see how that would look. So first I wanted to see how it would look with this Aspinall charm that I got. Um, it's a little fox in red with gold and it's a leather charm with this leather lace on it. It's really cute. I do think it's a little bit long though. It's not, I don't think excessively long, but it definitely adds a little pop of color. And now I'm going to try it with my new double tassel uh, in suede from dress up your purse. So I really like this. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to try to bring it up close to the camera make it easier to see because it is black on black, but I think it's just so gorgeous. I don't know if I have very many bags that this tassel does not look good on. It's just so elegant and uh, for being a, you know, a tassel, but I think it's the suede. It's that kind of rich looking suede leather. So that's really cute. And as I said in one of my uh, previous videos, when they come out with this again at Dress Up Your Purse in different colors, I'm definitely getting it. I hope they do soon. Yes, yeah, so that's how it looks with that. It's really cute. Then I decided I would try tying a Louis Vuitton bandeau around the handle. And uh, I've never done this before. I think it looks kind of cute. It's very different. It's definitely a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's cute. I mean, the scarf is black. It's black and pink. So I might tie it differently, actually. I don't know if I would do it this way, but I thought I would just try it out and see what happens. I tied a cute silk scarf from Aspinall of London right there on the handle. I think it's just a cute little accessory for the bag. Actually, I do like this better than the other way because you know, you have access to this handle a little better and it's just a little cute pop of color right there on the side. And because the bag is black, you can use any color 
accessory or scarf or anything you want on this. So that might be fun. But for me, while I do sometimes put scarves on my bags, for me, my favorite, at least for this one, is just by itself or with that suede tassel that was gorgeous. But I'm going to put the close chat back on now. All right, there we go. And I think that covers everything about this bag. I really love it. And I do plan to carry it tomorrow now that I have just moved all my things into it. Why not? It's great in any weather. It is great with any outfit. I'm going to show you a couple of mod shots to see how it looks on someone of my stature. I am five foot one. And um, I'm going to insert those now. Here is this bag being worn by me on my arm. I think this is just so cute, so chic. I also like to carry it like this in hand. And the best part is, is you can also put it on your shoulder because it has a wonderful drop. I think it will fit on any arm or shoulder easily. You could even carry it as a pouch if you wanted to. It's super versatile and easy to carry. Thanks guys for watching today. I really appreciate you joining me in this collaboration with Yota. Again, I will link her video down below. Don't forget to go check her out. She has the crystal re-edition version of this bag, which is gorgeous. I love that bag too, but it is uh, pretty far out of my price range. <laughs> and not only that, it's really difficult to get. Um, they are infamously difficult to get your hands on. Um, if I did have the money and I could just order it, I might think about it because it is a stunning, beautiful bag. Yeah, don't forget to check out Yota's channel and subscribe to her. She's trying to hit 5,000 subscribers, and she's really, really close. She has some amazing giveaways planned for when she hits her goal. If you can take the time to subscribe to my channel, it would really help me out. My goal is only 500, so I'm trying to get there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Please comment below. I love hearing from you, and I'm having such a fun time with my channel. It's been really great getting to know you guys. So thank you again. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.